So here we are at the Alpha Charger in Castleford and we've just plugged in the Ionic and showing that I've got 45% battery so yeah that's correct. Estimating a remaining time at 12 minutes and let's see how the power is. This is a charger that's supposed to give 50 kilowatt uh, currently started off at 38 let's see if it picks up um, with my new friend James hi James and uh, James has brought his Nissan Leaf here with him and we're going to see what impact it actually has um, when James also plugs in this Chadamo onto the Alpha Charger here Alpha Chargers are predominantly available around in Yorkshire uh, not seeing them in too many other places just now. Uh, but one of the advantages of these charging stations is that it will actually do CCS and Chatamo at the same time, allegedly. So that yeah, seems to be settling at 38.6. It doesn't seem to be doing like the Instavolts do, which is about 48.2. So um, yeah, it just seems a little bit chokes compared to what it could do. Uh, these chargers also potentially could do up to 150 kilowatt as well. So um, a little bit disappointing by comparison at the moment. Okay, okay. That's the nice thing that the leaf has in that you do have the ability to release via the key on the charging flap. James has got a fob for this charger, whereas I use the mobile app. Go for the chat remote, yeah. Just encouraging the plug in. Another scan. Now it's initiating. Charge and there we go. I'm going to 19.2 kilowatt, 19.3. Let's see if that's had a, an impact on the, um, on the CCS rate, perhaps. Um, yeah, that's dropped me down to 19.4. So it will actually charge both, but you've got to share its capacity to dish out. That's a little bit disappointing, isn't it? Yeah, very. I was, uh, I was hoping, certainly having used the Alpha machines elsewhere, I was hoping that I would get a solid 39 and you would also get a solid 39. But of course, 19 each is, a lot better than zero for one of us and 39 for the other. Yeah, I would agree with that. I agree. So with my, that. my blue charging light is flashing to confirm that my car is indeed taking power. Yep. And indeed. Likewise on the Ionic as well. Okay. So Alpha Power, great that uh, your chargers will charge CCS and had them at the same time. It's a bit of a shame that we have to share the capacity rather than both getting the ultimate capacity. One wonders uh, if this might lead to conflict at chargers. If there's somebody who's in a genuine rush, wants to charge at full rate, but begrudges another EV motorist pulling off, plugging in and taking half the power. Hopefully yeah. not as most EV people are lovely and decent, but there's well, we always try. the one. We try. Yeah, I, I can imagine being here on the CCS and basically saying, hold on, I was here first and I need to go in five minutes. So yeah, Indeed, it could be interesting. We could speculate what the effect would be if a third or fourth person 
was to pull up here using uh, one of the AC connectors. Maybe there'd be no difference. Uh, maybe AC takes its power differently to the two DCs, but we need a third EV here to try that for sure. Yeah, I think we need bigger parking spaces as well, actually, because we're, we're a bit squeezed in. Would we, would we actually get get one here but then we'd be we'd be blocking the, the air pump. I think I'm correct in saying that this Alpha charger is the only charger in the United Kingdom that can do two DC cars simultaneously. Maybe your people can comment down below if I'm wrong. Okay, yep. Feel free to, to like the video obviously and comment and subscribe and or to dislike it if you if you don't like it. <laughs> no you have to like it. You must like it. Let's take another look at the machine before we go. Okay. Because the interesting thing is, in the Vantage with electric cars, you can use your mobile phone whilst you fill up. Hopefully. And indeed, in some cases, you must. So, if I press the CCS button, I can see that your car is on 51%. Uh -huh. uh, it's good, I think, that I can see that. Yeah. Uh, and... Again, staying at the 19, if I go back and click Chadamo, my car, again, staying on 19 kilowatts, my car's on 30%. Yep. Just, just out of interest, James, if you go back to the CCS. We've got, we've got a little mist here as well, folks. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah. we do. Okay. So it's rodent infested already, is this charger. <laughs> um, so... Uh, you're the Nissan Leaf driver. Yes. You could end my charge. Or could you? I would like to think I couldn't, but okay. let's try. Let's try. And charge, scan card. Let's see what happens when my card is scanned. Unknown card. That's good. Okay. That's okay. what we'd so like to see. Good. So that means it can't be uh, corrupted by somebody thinking, oh, I know, I'll get rid of the, uh, the other DC charging vehicle um, and I'll take the 40 kilowatt or the 30 kilowatt, whichever one it would be. So, yeah, that's really good. Okay, so James has uh, left now. Um, one of the things we're going to do is actually send this video through, which is, this is James's idea, uh, to Alpha, um, which I think is, is fantastic. Sorry for the hand over there, I just need to clear my wipers. Um, one of the interesting things about also this charger being in a corner of the petrol station forecourt, of course, is that you have this problem so for james he had to reverse out of the space towards the petrol pumps and then he had to go over there towards the car wash to actually get out and um yeah for me it's not so bad i can just drive straight out which of course won't be such a problem for me uh, because my connection is on the rear of the vehicle uh, but for James obviously he could easily get barricaded in the petrol station or indeed even have to reverse onto the main carriageway which of course would not be not be um, correct for him to do or safe for him to do in any shape or form so James has left. Uh, that I'm continuing my charge because uh, I've got a long journey ahead of me tomorrow and um, I'm actually now up to, as you see there, 57% and uh, indeed the charger I sped up just a little bit. I'm going to just check the charging rate now. Nice design unit I have to say. Uh, so we're going to check the CCS. There we go, 38.2 kilowatt. Yeah, we were definitely sharing that when James was here. And uh, yeah, I've had about 5.7 kilowatt of energy there. So yeah, it's, um, it's a 40 kilowatt charger, it's not 50. Um, it definitely doesn't do the, the 150 that some of the alpha chargers can do. Um, it does have a type two socket there as well as a Type 2 cable built in. Chadamo, and there's the CCS port, which of course I'm connected to. 